Hey guys, it's Myersoft Addiction, and today we're going to take a look at the JG AK-47 Tactical with the full stock. Starting at the front, we have our plastic orange blazing flash hider, which is really hard to remove and uh, glued on. Uh, and then here we have uh, the mock cleaning rod and also the mock gas tube. Here is the front triangle sight which can be adjusted up and down with the provided tool. Moving up on the gun, here is the wrist or rail integrated system that is on all four sides of the gun and is a nice polymer, polymer feeling. Sorry. The JG AK-47 Tactical comes with a plastic or ABS low receiver which glares a bit, little bit but it's decent it also comes with a metal upper receiver which can be removed with that button on the back to reveal a metal tube here is the rear sight which can be adjusted for windage with this button right here on the side it has various numbers of angles on the top which don't mean very much and can also be removed by pushing down and pulling out. Here is the selector switch which is decent in quality but not the best. It obviously has full auto and semi and it has the lettering in Arabic right there. Here is the bolt, which can be pulled back to reveal the hop-up, which you t twist left for more and right for less. Here is the upper receiver, which if you push this button right here, you can pop that off for no reason. Here is the 600 round waffle style magazine. Uh, it does have this little hole right there that you can twist with the tool provided in the gun to wind it faster. You also have the winding thing on the bottom. Here's the cap that you open to put the BBs in. Here is the ambidextrous uh, magazine release. Here is the nice grip. Uh, these don't come on normal AKs and it's very nice to feel in your hand. It's a little ergonomic. And you can also take off the bottom screw to reveal the motor. As you can see, the JG AK-47 Tactical is a well-built gun for the price. The Kronos are at about 380 FPS or feet per second after the spring has worn down and about 15 rounds per second. It performs decent in the field but very inaccurate. I would only recommend this to a beginner being that it averages and costs at about $115 on most websites and that it being a clone. I give this gun a 6 out of 10 because of its terrible accuracy but good FPS and RPS. The fact that it is a cost efficient gun affected the rating the most. The gun comes with a 1500 mAh large type battery, a standard wall charger which can burn your battery so I recommend getting a smart charger. It comes with a front sight adjustment tool and a uh, magazine key winder. Overall, the gun is okay in performance, but mostly suggested for beginners or experienced players looking for a cheap project gun. I hope you liked the video, so please subscribe, like, and comment. And thanks for watching, guys.